So your transition move is always like this. Hands go out, club shallows, uh -huh. and then it steepens late because the, your hands go out like this. Okay. Yep. So I'm going to be here. Okay, I'll try, I'll try it again. I want to try it this time without your... Without me? Without you blocking me. I can feel it did. It went, it went out. Just a little bit. A little bit. High smash, that's what I've been hitting though. Like high, very high smash factor pulls. <laughs> we gotta get Which you if you know golf course design, those are the worst spots on the golf course. Yeah. Long and left. Long left is usually not good. Okay, so I'm, li I'm liking this. One. Two. Oh, okay. That was the big slide there, just so you know what it feels like. Okay, and here's a two. Wow. That's, a, that's a good shot there. That was better. Come on out here, my, uh, guys. So if I'm doing bullet points on what we talked about in this video, um, give, me, give me two takeaways, Jay, for, for you of this video, not just me, but for golfers to think about. Yeah, I mean, I, I, for me, the most important things, I, I, I would say two things is, is that you, you've really very thoroughly described Milo's really Stand a little really closer to him. Yeah. How your hands really should work in a golf swing. That's really important. Most people don't know that. So I'd say 95% of people, Milo can maybe give a better estimate, that I've ever met with don't have any understanding of how their hands should work when it comes to wrist cock. And when it comes to that, Milo, you're saying that it's basically it's this combined with this. Right. Yeah. And, and then that gets and again, it. You could bring it up to this level. So if you want to, yeah. if you want to think about it, what he's saying is the reason why the face stays square. If I turn here, the face is going to be square, it's, right? It hasn't changed. It, nothing's yeah. changed. The tendency for people to do is to do this, right? That doesn't help me. Or what they, you're doing is doing this. The face will still be square. Does okay. that make sense? Or yeah. they add in some kind of a twist. Or they'll turn right. it this way or whatever. Yeah. So it's just this. That's why I tell everybody the golf swing is not that complicated. It's a pivot. So your body pivots hmm. and a lever. And you have to understand how the lever works. The lever doesn't, doesn't work this way like we've always been taught. It works more this way, more in the horizontal plane, not okay. in the vertical plane so much. Okay. What's your, what, give me your main takeaway from this video for, for golfers that are watching, especially people that are getting that really good impact, you know, when they're uh, under a tree or something, you know, and having to punch out. But then, like, you know, when it's, they're perfectly in the middle of the fairway, you know, they're, they're Well, for a lot of people, glancing. I mean, it, learn this shot and use it a lot like what the number a lot of these shots the, the, the I, number I, one shot well number two okay yeah i hit a lot of shots less than full very rarely do i smash my nine iron oh so you're saying like even if you're hitting nine iron and it's going 150 yards which would be a little less than normal for you um it might have a two feeling yeah oh yeah That's feels cool. like it I, it yeah. doesn't look like it right, when i right. actually see it, it my shaft gets up you know in this ballpark mm -hmm. yeah but well, that's what I was noticing. Some of those shots we were doing on the on other video, Jay. I mean, people were like, because the idea of the video was take it only to here and hit it there, you know. And in, in the camera, I'm taking it like basically full and hitting it. And that's why I think Jay, you said like, the trick is there's not really that much difference between doing a one and doing there's a lot less difference than I thought. Well, yeah. For almost everybody, they they're gonna add some hands some hinge into the swing they yeah. can, almost nobody can take it back here and not add something mm -hmm. right. yep they're gonna add a little usually they add way too much okay milo to finish this video i want you to hit just so people can see the difference because it's hard to see on on tv watching the pga tour or whatever hit a really solid two Wh yeah. what club is that a nine nine iron so hit a really solid two that would go like 138 <laughs> 140. Not 140, 140. Yeah, yeah. 138. He yeah. got specific with me. Well, this is me who was trying to hit 100 and hit it 130. And then, uh, all right. And then I went. No. Oh, sorry. I was. I walk, I walked in just <laughs> yeah. as I started talking. I didn't know you were talking. All right. I was so gonna hit one. So hit a hit a really solid two that goes 140. And then I want you to hit one that goes like one, you know, 55 or something. But okay. And so. just to see the difference. And so that basically feels like that drill swing to you, right? Yeah. That was really good there. I don't know where my tee went, but I'll hit it off the ground now. No, here we go. Here's a little nub. <laughs> here, because I, I want it off the tee because I want to feel like it's like a par three or so. Okay. So now more of a normal shot? Like well, that land was, uh, what do you mean normal? 
That last one you hit wasn't normal? Well, it was a normal shot. It was a normal shot, but it was a less than full shot. You yes. want me to hit like a full shot now? A full shot. Okay. Yeah, like a, a full-throated one, but yeah, yeah, not like a total beast shot, but like, yeah. So like if I was hitting 155 or something? Yes, yeah. Oh, okay. It doesn't look much different, right, to the naked eye? No, it doesn't. Yeah. Something like that? Yeah. That's really good. The other thing I think the key takeaway I was going to come on in, come on in, Jay. Give you my second key takeaway is, is right. that this, for your for your players and you talk you and I talked about can you suffer through the boredom, right? right? The hardest thing about people is everybody wants to run it at ninety percent or one hundred percent speed all the time. What Milo said is very important, and it's the best way to get better at anything. Yeah. is you want to run the you want to do the ones fifty mm -hmm. percent of the time, the twos forty percent of the time, and then and then the full stuff maybe ten percent of the time. You understand what I'm saying? So I focus do, on but stuff when, where you can make good, right. positive uh, improvement because you got to override all these bad repetitions with good repetitions. Well, all the time when I'm, this is the my thing because when I, I do practice this stuff, you know, yeah. uh, and whenever I'm hitting those shots, so good, I'll hit, you know, a hundred. I'll hit a hundred number one feeling shots or number one and a little bit feeling shots, pure. And out of 100, I, I'm hitting like 85 pure. And, and my brain thinks, well, who cares? So what? Like, that's not a golf, sh that's not a golf swing. Yeah. It's not helping my actual golf swing. It's just, it's, yeah. like, it's like practicing my chipping for, for, you know, for something totally different. How do I need to change my thinking about the that? The one piece of advice I would I, It's not in bleeding this. into my full swing. I don't generally like to do a lot in a row of anything. Okay. So if I was doing number ones, I might do like five of those and then throw in a normal, what feels like a full shot. Yeah. And then go back. Okay. That way you're... And try to bring the feeling of the one into the Bring the feel the into two. your golf swing. Right. Yeah. Right. I think the, 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 what you're saying is, is that it's just really a subconscious or psychological rather yeah. hindrance that you have. It is. Because that is your real golf swing. If you look at Mike, Milo's one versus his three, there's no difference. Really, he just turned more. I and, turned a little farther, and a little hands a little. But but everything Tempo through the hitting broken. area, yeah. which we talked about how important it is to think of parallel to the ground, parallel to your toes, yeah. and forward. That's all exactly the same. Great. So all he's done is turn back a little bit more and hinge his wrists a little bit more. So your full idea of what a full golf swing is, is really not the truth. There isn't a separate secret to a full golf swing. This it's is just it's just a little bit more of what you're doing. This is the the talk I need, I think, because my idea of what the difference between one, two, and three is all messed up. Yeah. There's it's, not a uh, fastball, yeah. a changeup, and a curve. You're not learning three pitches. You're really just ex you're just trying to get the ball to go further, so you turn further. And then change alignments. Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks for watching, everybody. Click the subscribe button. There's going to be a whole bunch of videos coming from here today. Uh, we got Drew coming out to do some videos. Also, um, don't forget about MiloLinesGolf.com. There's a special promo code to join that website. Uh, if you're a Be Better Golfer, in the description to this video, maybe I'll put a title here. And uh, don't forget about the Golf Stick Pro. The best price for it anywhere is at BeBetterGolf.net. If you're seeing this video, that means they're in stock and they're ready to go, unless you're watching this video and it's like two years later. No guarantees <laughs> on that. <laughs> but if you're seeing this video new, uh, then, then, uh, then they're ready to go and you can, you can get them there. See ya. Bye.